Hello, everybody, and welcome to sort of an impromptu game show. which right now doesn't have a title. Maybe we'll think of one later. My name is Cormac Abbey. I'm going to be hosting the show, and with me I have some wonderful contestants. If you'd like to introduce yourselves. Avery Quinlan. Wonderful. And I'm Jay Gershman. (laughs) Splendid. So... Uh, Our two contestants here are going to be facing off against each other, and the criteria is very simple. They're going to each have five minutes to run inside the wonderful uh, Town Meeting TV studios right there, find any sort of props or inspiration, and after five minutes, they're each going to come back and try to present something that will impress me. Now, I have very strict and very specific grading criteria. Uh, I'm going to give you each a moment to ask me, let's say, two questions each uh, to get to better know my grading criteria. Uh, so you can feel more prepared after the five minutes. So we're going to start with you, Jay. Um, am I allowed to just ask what the criteria is? <laughs> that starts as your first question, and no. No, you're not. Am I allowed? Or, <laughs> wait, wait. Um, what's your... Question. I'll answer it truthfully. This is the hot seat. What's your sense of humor? Um, I like... I think I have a, a I have a dry sense of humor, although I do like absurdism as well. I like absurd humor. So those are kind of conflicting, but you'll figure it out. I'm a wild card. Um, <clears throat> should we be aiming for like pizzazz or thoughtfulness? That's a good question. I appreciate you asking that. I'm I consider myself quite a thoughtful a logical person so I'm always interested in I'll be impressed more by something that's clever and witty rather than something that's bombastic um (laughs) I actually don't know what my second question is would you like to forfeit it that shows confidence that's impressive yeah forfeit Avery's gonna forfeit their second question well competitors Do you feel ready? Uh, not quite. (laughs) Don't care? And you? (laughs) To an extent. Wonderful. Well, you guys are just exuding confidence. I I look forward to see what you uh, come up with here, and I believe uh, we are going to begin the competition shortly. The competition will begin in five, four, three, two... One, go. So what am I expecting from this competition? I think um, some creativity. That's what I'm hoping for, at least. I want to see contestants using what they found in the space around them. Um, I do want to see some props. I think I am going to see some props. I mean, it's hard to imagine that they wouldn't use that Um, but I just, I want to see a performance. I want to see something that will make me laugh. I want to see something that will make me cry. Even, I just want to see them putting effort in. I want them to give it their all. I don't want a, a half-assed performance, for lack of a better term. Uh, I don't think they're going to deliver that to me. They're both very high-energy uh, people. They're both very outgoing. I can't get them to shut up most of the time. Um, so, yeah, I'm expecting glitz and glam out there. <laughs> Five, 
five. Four. Three. Two. One. Pencils down. Hello, contestants. <laughs> wow. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm I'm shocked already. <laughs> Who would like to give their pitch to me first? I'll take a seat here. You can have the mic if you'd like. In fact, I recommend it. Okay. I'm I'm ready for you to do it. Do you need to be in a specific space, a specific state of mind? Or are you ready? Okay. <laughs> All right, so my idea, oh. So, my pitch is a mascot for CCTV. Uh as we only had 5 minutes and things in the studio, I constructed it out of things in this studio which include cups of water and napkins and sharpies and face masks um so yeah i have like this horn thing going on um there's one horn not because the other one fell off but because um a single horn represents the unity of um cctv and the community it uh brings about um there's there was a nose <laughs> Uh, it's on the floor now. Um, yeah. Uh, because it's gone, it has no meaning. Um, what else is happening? There's the eye mask, uh, which is used to emphasize the eyes uh, to kind of represent um, the kind of visual medium that CCTV takes on. Um, with a, you know, focus on a vision towards the future and the good of society and whatever. Um, yeah, so this is my pitch. <laughs> wow. Um, very impressed with that. Um, I love this piece. It's a statement. For me, the singular horn, I think you touched on, r represents unity, but also... To me, it felt like a unicorn, which is something that's very special um, to a lot of people. If you see, you know, the whole myth of the unicorn is that you don't come across them very often, and so that to me really feels like CCTV. Um, the books on the mask, I think, symbolize uh, the power that literature has in finding voices. Um, the mask wants to cover up, but the books are liberating. Same thing with the eye mask. I feel that the mask wants to cover up and hide the truth, but the eyes are always capable of seeing through that. And the eyes are always capable of seeing the truth in media that we put out here at CCTV. So I feel like this is a wonderful representation of what we do here. Um, and Avery, it's going to take a lot to beat that, if I'm being honest. Although I will give you benefit of the doubt. We'll see what you have in store for us. Okay. Oh, through through the side door? This is backstage? Okay. Already impressed with their assertiveness. Are you prepared for us? Wow. Wow. I'm enthralled. Would you like the mic? Yeah. I insist you have it. <laughs> Thank you. So this is my sales pitch here. I have various items to barter with you that I'm going to try to sell you on. Uh, first off, you ever try to like hold something in place? You know, paper clips doesn't work. 
thumbtacks. No. Mm -hmm. So, what well, I got here for you. It's stapler. <laughs> stapler. So first off, drink. This will go for about two. Then these will go for about one, two, four. And buy one, get one free. What am I buying that I'm getting this free? Yes. You're welcome. Very in vogue. And then for our final offer, we have this little trinket here. This will go for roughly one on the market. And also you get this, of course. Oh. And one of these. Oh. And yes, that is my sales pitch. Yes. Well, it was lovely doing business with you. Um, I was very impressed by the presentation. Um, and has this Sharpie's been open the whole time. That could have been a disaster. Um, I love the assortment that you gave me here. There's a lot to take in. There's a lot to look at, and I enjoyed that because I think in this day and age, you know, we're living in the attention economy, right? So I felt like you were making a statement, much like Jay here, about the role of CCTV um, in society is that, you know, people are finding it so hard to figure out what is actually worth devoting their time and attention to. And I think you symbolize that very well here with all the different attractions and, and trinkets and the uh, actually kind of pitiful and upsetting display there with the stapler that you gave me. Um, I think where you saved it is that you offered me a gift, um, an act of kindness. I mean, although you were trying to sell me on things, which I think also symbolize kind of our consumer capitalist culture, uh, you gave this beverage here to me, and I think this one was free, which I think really symbolized, you know, the importance of other people and the importance of caring for each other. You know, the concept of gift giving has been just so consumerized. And so to receive this and have it be genuine... Um, I think that, that meant a lot to me, and that really makes me think about what we do here at CCTV, which is about giving to others through the power of media um, in the attention economy. So I thought, much like Jay here, you did a really great job with the symbolism, and I'm also impressed, and this is going to be a very difficult choice. Thank you. <sighs> with that said, let me remove the memorabilia to remove the bias. Well, competitors, you both have given me a lot to think about. I was thoroughly impressed with what you were able to do, given the constraints of the five minutes, given the constraints of what you could put together in this space. I can say genuinely that when I walked in, I was not expecting to see what I did. And I mean that in a good way. But, of course, you both know there can only be one winner. And what you win is my appreciation and my respect. And the loser, unfortunately, will not get that and may never get that. So, I liked both of your presentations. And I hope you understand that there are no hard feelings other than I will not respect you to the loser. It is now time for me to announce the winner. 
and it will be Jay. Jay, I was impressed uh, with what you put together here. I thought the costuming was great, and I think it's about time that CCTV does have a mascot. And I think that's really what won me over here, Avery. I hope you can understand is that I think this is something that we actually need around here is a mascot, and I wouldn't want it to look any other way than what you presented here. The nose fell off, and I was anxious for you, but you rolled with it, and I thought that was honestly the most impressive part of your performance is that you didn't let that deter you. Avery, I liked what you brought to the table. Again, I loved the symbolism with the attention economy, but for me what really brought it down um, was the self-deprecation that came after the stapler incident. Um, and that was just the difference between you two is that Jay bounced back in the face of adversity and you seemed to dwell on the stapler, which again was, was quite pitiful. And I was actually trying to hold back tears because I felt so sorry for you when I was watching that happen because it really couldn't have been that hard to use a stapler. Uh, but you made it look like it was a monumental task. And that in its own way is impressive. So I want to thank both the competitors again here today. Uh, Jay, you win my undying respect and support. And Avery, you will unfortunately receive Bub Kiss. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm leaving now. Um, I would just like to say I never thought um, as a result of this getup that I could win something like respect. <laughs> Um, that's all. I'm gonna cry myself to sleep tonight.